Yes, I, I do. What? Oh, there you are. Good grief. Yes, I, I don't think you can um, grow that in the UK. Although, I suppose there's no government and no police or anything. So, I mean, do what you want. Do what you want. That's 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 fine. What? Gourd planter? No. All right, um, Winston. You are now officially going to be called Winston. I have decided. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. I mean, Nadia, not 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 to be harsh, but I mean you are kind of you are farming in a way. But well, I'm I'm, I'm going to head back to the pub and and give the other Winston his parcel. Okay, come along then, Winston. Let's 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 go. <sighs> Honestly. The things I have seen out on the road, I will never forget. It's been a nightmare. I can't help but feel like I should maybe just go armed. Go armed, go dangerous. And and hope for the best. Oh, okay, who are these? Who are you? Are you going to hurt me? Are you going to try and try and kill me? Okay, okay, cider has worn off, okay. Oh! Ooh. We just need, we just need to... I, I don't know whether these are bad folks or good folks or what, so I don't think... Who are you? Oh, actually... Oh yeah, you're, you're... Oh, okay. Um, uh, um, mm, no. No, can I? Get me up. I'm just, I'm just, just, just gonna go around and walk away. Just walk away. Leave them alone. We, we we don't need to get involved. I don't need to get involved with, with scavengers. Who's detecting us? Okay. Come on, um, Churchill. Winston. Winston. Let's leave this spot. What? Is there anything in here? London Telecom. No. What's this? Victoria Queen Victoria Cigarette? Oh, it's a cigarette factory. What is that? It's a bug. Maybe we should yeah. Just in hello? Is it alive? Okay, it's alive. Okay, it's alive. It's alive. It's a lady bug. Oh, Churchill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladybug meat. Oh God, jeez, Louise. Winston, come along, come along, come along. Let's go, 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 go. What? Oh, okay. Winston. Winston. Oh, good lord, silly dog. All right. We need to just get back to the pub and we'll be fine and nothing will hurt us and nobody will harm us and we'll all be fine and it'll all be good. And it... Oh, the sign! I'm hearing, I'm hearing gunfire. Why am I hearing gunfire? What's this? Beef eater burger. I mean, I like burgers. I suppose there's anything in here. But... Tickets. Hey, hey, hey. Ch Hello? Huh, so there was a pro protectron here, I believe. Red plate. Cola glasses. Gunfire outside. Water cooler, no thank you. Churchill, Winston, come over here, boy. Oh, yes, there you go. There was a protectron, but he was... Um, Turned into scrap, which is not not ideal. So okay, can we? Oop. In here, oh, potato, lots of stuff, kids' meal, salt shaker. Nothing in the cash register. Huh. Winston, can you? Oh, can you excuse yourself, sir? Maybe we should see if we can cook up some stuff. Oh, can we not? 
What's that noise? Whatever, dog. Whatever. Let's 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 go. So, yeah, beef eater burger. Ooh, burgers with all the trimmings. Sounds nice. Why am I hearing lots of gunfire? It's very concerning. Should we maybe go back up this way? I think this was the street, was it not? Yes, because here was the uh, the hound, where we found that poor gentleman dead. What's down here? This seems to be where the gunfire is coming from. Well, no, none. We need the numbers. Oh, hello. Ah, can we cook, cook here? Ah, here we go. What do I have? What do I have here? Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, grilled radroach. Why not? Uh, mutt chops. Okay. Ribeye steak. Ooh, Brahmin meat. Nice. I like a bit of steak. Okay. Uh, soup. Make any soups? No. Utility. Mystery meat pie. Oh, shot. Oh. Done. Never anything. Why would I put human meat in a pie? What is this? Bloody Sweeney Todd? Oh, no. Get me out. The bloody demon barber of Fleet Street. Oh, sorry, Churchill. Were you just making yourself at home there? I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, hello. I like your outfit. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's um, let's get back in the pub. Go and give Winston his parcel, and Your hopefully. Body's getting shot done. Never hurt anything. No, well, I suppose not. Hello. Uh, here we go. The Swan and Mitre. Ah, chill, Winston. Hello, hello. You got the delivery then. Thanks for that. Yes. And I'm glad Nadia's okay. She's one of my sharpest suppliers. Yes, she... I found the part for the radio you were after. Oh, Here good. You if you need a workbench to fix it, check with Bullet Tooth Anthony. Bullet He's usually down the basement. Oh, okay. Well, um... Thanks. Come on then, Winston. Let's, let's go. I'm talking about the dog. <laughs> Blind Nelson, um... Where is the... The basement? Ah. Well, obviously it's downstairs. Of course, it's... Ooh. Uh, okay. Ah. This way. Bloody hell. Look at this. Good grief. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Well, it's lucky I'm, I'm hanging around then, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, good grief. Wow, this is quite a deep basement. Or cellar, it would be cellar. Hello. Bullet Tooth Anthony. Hello, sunshine. Hello. The name's Bullet Tooth Anthony. What you after? Oh. Well, um, hmm. Excuse me. Okay. Um, what's your I role fix here? Fix up weapons, do repairs and maintenance. That sort of thing. Oh, cool. Um, can you tell me more about the Vagabonds? We're the best brutes in Bromley. Won't find better than us. If we can get us some more weapons, we'll be a proper force to be reckoned with. Oh. What about the Isle of Dogs? I always say, the only good dog is a dead dog. Winston doesn't Those mean you. Those syndicate buggers have a lot to answer for. You don't need to know more than that. Yeah, well, just, you know, Ipsnay on the dog killing, eh? You know? Winston's got precious little ears. Um, what do you think of Sebastian Gaunt? He has it hard, Gaunt. But he's tough, and he's fair as he needs to be. No, oh, okay. Um, I need to repair a radio for Blind Nelson. Can I use your workbench? No chance, sunshine. What?! I'm trying to fix up an old laser rifle I found, oh. and it's laid out in a hundred pieces right now. You dare mess that up, and I'll have your head off. But look, you find me a piece to replace an old crystalline photon agitator, and I'll be able to finish it off. Then the workbench is all yours. 
I... Can't you just stick a bit of glass in there? Not a sharp one, are ya? Oh, well, if I right. do that, I'll blow my bloody hand off. Now, be a dear and go find something more useful than what's in your little head. Rude! Any sort of scrap electronics would be a start. Okay, so might be maybe misc uh, or junk. Oh, I think I sold it. Well, God. Ooh. All right then. Well, well, where? Come on, Winston. I. Oi! I get your mitts off that. I'm in the middle of fixing something there, and I don't want you ruining it. I didn't go anywhere near it. You weirdo. Come along, Winston. Let's get out of here. Go and see Nadia again and buy back that bloody crystalline photon whatever it was. Oh. I, honestly, after all that bloody walking and now we've got to go back. Oh. Annoyed. Well, never mind. I don't think Nadia's far. No, here she is. Um, hmm. Yes, so we just need to follow this road, I think. And we should be fine. She says, hopefully. Maybe maybe we can cut through the, the ruins here. Ch Winston? Oh, he'll catch up. <gasps> More skeletons. Oh, no. What's this? Okay, back out Nelson Lager. Hmm. Mouldy food. No, thank you. Hmm. It looks quite pretty during the day. Oh, good. There you are, Winston. Good lord. Oh, no! What? No! Run away! Leave me alone. I'm going. I'm not coming back. I promise. I'm gone. Winston! Could I get in this? Why does everybody want to kill us? Okay, there's rats. There's rats. There's rats. I'm just not going to go near it. Good grief. I... What? Yeah! Bloody hooligan! Ugh. All right, all right. Yeah. You like the side of your own oh blood? God. Oh god! We're not loaded. Why are we not loaded? Okay, okay, all right, all right. There's rads. I'll give you that one. Yeah, give me that one. Come here. Oh god, really? Good grief! This is ridiculous. Oh my god, there's another one. Really, really? Oh god. What the hell? Um. Hmm. Okay, we need to. We need to. We need to fix ourselves up for one. Um. Yep. Do you know what? Screw it. Let's 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 just do it. Um we we I mean we We have the shotgun. Okay. You better be worth it. Had I. Okay. Okay. Ow. Die in a hole. Give me all your stuff. God bless it. Winston! Where did the other one where did the other one go? Um it was no, over here. Are you alright, dog? Yes, you're fine. Good grief. <sighs> this is the thing, we did we did nothing to these people. All I did was walk down the street. D okay. Um Churchill found an enemy. 
Whoa, jeez. Okay, where, where, where in here? The glades. Churchill, it's 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 a building, mate. Are we talk about it. No, okay. Uh, where did that that other body go? Huh. Ooh, plants. Bobby pins, thank you. Was it over? Okay, the rad's there. We don't want to... Oh, there we are. Thank you. Churchill. You... What are you gawking at, dog? Oh, you are so bizarre. It's unbelievable. Okay. <sighs> Let's have a look at the map. So we just need to go... This way. Okay, come along, dog. Let's get out of here. Oh, can we not can we not pass through? Oh yes, here we go. We can. We can. We're all right. Hello? Anyone in? Hmm. I have a truncheon. I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Some kind of machine? Oh, it's a coffee machine! I see! Coffee cup. Um, I'll take the milk. Why not? Teapot. Sugar. Electronic stove. I, I Souvenir coffee cup. I'll take it. Clean coffee tins. Hmm. Maybe useful. Napkins. Coffee. Can we... No, don't drink the old coffee. It probably will be stale and vile. Two things I do not wish to deal with. Take the milk, roll up newspaper. So, does somebody just live in here? Just sleep in here? Okay, well, never mind. Churchill, come on. We need to go, dog. We have things to do, namely getting to Nadia and buying back the bloody whatever it was. Oh yeah, this was where the, the Brahmin was, wasn't it? The Brahmin thing. Okay. Booths. <laughs> Guessing some kind of chemist, maybe. It looks chemisty. Oh, right away, yes. Anything else here? What? What? Toothpaste. Bone cutter. Mm. Uh, oh, rat poison. Soap. Is soap useful? Maybe. Chems. Okay. Stimpak. Lovely. Hmm. Radex. Morphex. Shipment of antiseptic. What's that? Would it be a, a something we can read? Shipment of antiseptic. Can we examine it? Oh, well, that's kind of disappointing. Okay. So what's upstairs? Hello? Is there anybody in here? No, just a... Just a pair of old bones. Mm, oh, and a safe. Well, that was worth the trip. What is that bloody dog doing? Winston! What are you doing? Come along. We've got things to do. What's this? What's here? Are we somewhere we're supposed to be? 
Oh, maybe maybe we'll find one of those things in here. What? what? Robco Industries Terminal. Okay. Is there anything component-wise that we can... Oh. What? My god, Winston, we have got to find a way to, to dampen your footprints. My god, boy. Wolfie Exchange Terminal? Teaser. Well, okay, what's what's this? Repair job terminal five. Oh god. Uh, terminal entry number 0013421. Sticky situation. The terminal's keyboard was coated in a thick layer of an unknown sticky substance. Upon further inspection, it was determined to be a mixture of teaser, coffee and various food particles. The keys were barely functioning due to the build-up and the trackpad was similarly affected. Although a thorough cleaning was necessary and a warning was issued to all staff about the importance of maintaining a clean workspace. Huh. Uh, repair job terminal 11. Okay. Uh, unidentified smell. Oh dear. A foul odour emanated from this terminal, making it unbearable to work nearby. The source of the smell was traced to be the terminal's ventilation system, which was clogged with hair, dust and other debris. The filters were replaced and the system was thoroughly cleaned to, to eliminate the odour. A reminder was sent to all staff about the importance of regular maintenance for the terminal's ventilation systems. Oh, okay. Terminal 22. Insect infestation? Oh, God. This terminal was infested with roaches, which had made their way into the internal components and were causing connectivity issues. The terminal was disinfected and all insects were removed. An exterminator was called to address the issue as they had started to run into hideaway places in our shop. Ugh. Gross. Terminal 35. Broken screen. The screen of this terminal was shattered, likely due to a heavy impact. The screen was replaced and the terminal was tested to ensure it was functioning properly. We issued a report to the customer about the importance of handling equipment with care to avoid such incidents in the future. Terminal 44. Liquid damage. This terminal had suffered liquid damage, likely from a spilled drink. The liquid had seeped into the internal components, causing corrosion and short-circuiting. The affected parts were replaced and the terminal was thoroughly dried and cleaned. People really need to learn to keep drinks away from terminals and other electronic equipment. Alright, okay, Terminal 55. Software infection. This terminal was a fancy imported one from America. However, it was infected with suspect hardware, which had caused it to malfunction and display unwanted results. The suspect files were removed and the terminal's security was updated to prevent future infections. And that's that. So what a strange noise. So, can we use this? Robco Industries. Oh! Oh, corruption present, corruption present. I don't think we can read any of this. Please choose. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess we guess we can't do anything with that. Okay. Well. Battered clipboard. Good lord. Okay. Is that a ticket I see there? No. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So how far off are we? She's just down to our left. So down this way. Honestly, what a nightmare. I mean, Nadia, you could... Okay, you could, um... Clean up a little, you know. Get rid of the bodies. Uh, let me just... Sorry, put the trunch away. Anything catch your eye? Yes, I would like to have a look at your wares, please. Because I may have Take sold you something that I need. Uh... Hmm... Would it be a junk item? Maybe, um, that's what we need, one of those. Should we take two of them? Wait, 344? Really? Oh my god, I'm going to have to sell you something, aren't I? Till next time.
My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. All right, let's um, let's go, Winston. We need to get back. I need to get some more tickets. That's what I need to get. Good grief. We've absolutely bankrupted ourselves. Oh, we should never have sold those, those, those. Oh, God, please. No. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Everything is out to get us. We need to just go. We need to just go, 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 go. Stay away from everybody. Good God. Everything wants to kill us out here. It's ridiculous. Is what it is. Bloody ridiculous. Okay. Up. I think it's down here. I want to say it's down here. I think we should be alright down here anyway. Good grief. What an absolute nightmare of a day. Well... At least you're happy, dog. Here we go. Honestly, bloody photon crystalline... Whatever it is. Whatever. Whatever. Where is he? I'm going to clout him up with this. Ugh. Honestly, the run around, the run around we've had. Where are you, fool? Here's your stupid crystalline thing. Let me use your workbench. Here you are, dingus. Hello again, sunshine. What you after? Clubbing you over the head with this. I got the crystal thingy. Here's the crystalline photon agitator. Ah, lovely jubbly. Give it here and I can get it cleared up. Here we are. A fully restored Upton Burke Class C laser rifle. Ain't it a beaut? Oh yeah. Absolute shite that keeps breaking after ten shots, mind. But it'll bugger up anything it hits before then. Now, you had some gizmo you wanted patched up. And it here, and I'll sort it for you. Let's see. Out with the old, in with the new. I can tidy these frayed wires, too. This is quite the old bit of junk Nelson's hanging on to. What's all the rhymes, well, dude? Well, it's all fixed. But it looks like the battery is knackered. Oh, God. I've got none of the right sort here, but Johnny Shrapnel should have him in spades. He's usually hanging out back by the chem station. And what's he gonna want? Good lord. The things. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Asbestos? You just have a random box of asbestos lying about? Do you know what, dude? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little nosy in here. Just 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 to see what you've got. Absolutely nothing. A load of old garbage. All right. Well, oh, you've got tickets. What are you... Okay. I don't wonder what this fellow will want. Also, go and get some other ridiculous item, probably. You get... Okay. Oh, here you are. Oi, oi. Johnny if it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you want? Don't be rude. Um, why do they call you Johnny Shrapnel? It's cause of this little beauty I've got lodged in me skull. Oh. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But that's just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. Oh. No pain, no pain. Eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper, this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. I mean... It can't be comfortable, dude. What if you, like, bump your head or something, or, or sleep funny? Okay, uh, I need a battery. Could help, sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Oh, Lord. Listen, give me an hand with something delicate, and I'll see what I can sort for you. Delicate? Mickey's been having a barney at me for blowing up his hat. And yes, yes, I did blow up his hat. And don't you mind how or why. But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth. Right? Well, fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin it. Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? 
make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. Well... Alright, I mean... <laughs> just giving somebody a gift, that's easy. That's easy, given what we've been through. Alright, hello, uh, Mickey, can I? Hello. Hello, Gov. My name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? Oh, yeah, the Mickey, there you go. Um... Hmm. Johnny sent me, said to give you this. So that shrapnel brain pillock thinks he can just fob me with some token. That was my favourite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, he's 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 trying his best here, and he's he does seem really sorry. I don't know how he blew up a the hat, but yeah. Okay. Does he really? Yeah. That's pretty new for Johnny. Well, all right then. I'll take his apology if it means that much to him. Thanks, Gov. No problem. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get me hands dirty in other ways. I'm sure you do, Mr. Gaunt. Okay, uh, Johnny. Good news, mate. He took it. Hey, you get Mickey to take the gift? Did. Yes. Um. Yes, he took it and he accepts your apology. Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. I'm glad he didn't try to kill you. Oh, well, thanks. You wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here, and I'll see what I've got. Blimey, this is old. Where do you even get something as tongue as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of 9 volts to get this to work. Uh, let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. More bodies getting shite done, never You anything. didn't mention that he might have killed me. That's... that's concerning. Sir? Do you know what? It, 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 it doesn't surprise me. It's been that sort of day. <sighs> Ridiculous requests for things, for one, and then Egypt's trying to kill me out on the road for two. Winston, let's go. I know you called Churchill, but now you call Winston. Uh, where, 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 where? Okay, Nelson. Here you go. You got the radio done up? Yes. Here it is. You took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? Well, better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke. Terribly sorry. I had to go gathering bits from all over the bloody city for this thing. Well, come on then. The execution of the vagabond prisoner will take place at Henderson Square in Millwall. Oh dear. We're expecting a massive crowd, so we need all hands on deck. If you're IODS in Millwall, be there. We're gonna send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh dear. Oh for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off! Why what do you, you even doing? bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? Excuse Where's me? Yvette? She's the one who vouched for you. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Uh... <laughs> Are you kidding? Do you know what I went through to fix that damn radio? Oh no, did Baby have a hard time with their tinker toys? Why didn't you say so? Take a seat, I'll have one of the lads pour up a warm glass of milk to calm your delicate nerves. Where the hell is Yvette? Daycare is over. She's got to pick up her little ankle biter. I have got a good mind to clout you with this truncheon. All that faffing about, oh I tell you. Are you really blaming me for what's on the radio? You must have been listening in the next room before you brought it over here. How else would that news have been so perfectly timed? I'm on to you, Lebret. Do you know what? Do you know what? I actually haven't seen Yvette. That's very true. But... She has left. Obviously she's left. Oh, shit, that's right. God damn it! Yeah, what's wrong? Is Yvette in trouble? 
I would say there's a 90% chance that she's about to do something stupid and find herself knee-deep in shit. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Oh, now we're friends. Something much more important. Really? Really? Now, when you need my help? Oh, yeah. But when I fixed your radio for you and you heard the bad news, then suddenly I'm the worst person in the world. Let's blame Ava for everything. Do you know what? Do you, oh. Do you know what? If it is for Yvette, I will help Hello? because Yvette's nice. You still there? Oh, how sweet. You're just a little sweetheart, aren't you? I will punch you in the face. Pie that likes to cuddle up in a bubble bath and write their feelings down in a diary, eh? Dear diary, today I met a mean old ghoul with a knob the size of a cricket bat and he bullied me for loving the vet so goddamn much. I think I might have another cry about it. Is that you then? Rhetorical question, it is you. But you're all I've got at the moment, so I'm going to need you to load up your dainty purse with supplies and head to Millwall to make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. She's got roots there, and you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's going to make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring Yvette back in one piece, and I'll make it worth your while. Dear Diary, Today I met a horrible ghoul called Nelson, and I shot him. Right between his where his eyes would have been. The end. Yeah, what's her history with the syndicate? I don't know the whole story, just what I've been told. She had a brother once upon a time. Apparently he found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time and the syndicate did what the syndicate does to rival gang members. Turned him into kibble. So, obviously, she has a bit of an axe to grind, but so does everyone else here, so who gives a shit? Just another syndicate sob story. Join the bloody club. <sighs> Anything in particular I should watch out for? Millwall is absolutely lousy with syndicate dogs. You can't throw a bloody rock without hitting one of them and it bouncing off and hitting a relative they're shagging. Lovely. If they find out you're with us, you'll be ripped apart by rabid dogs before you can say Bob's your uncle. You should be fine, because you're a fucking nobody. But regardless, you should keep a low profile. I'm a nobody, am I? But you need my help, so what does that make you? Is my question. So bloody rude. Good grief. Do you know what? Fine. Brilliant. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find a vet. Tell her blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich foot tunnel. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt nothing. We need the numbers. Oh, now you need the numbers? Now you need my help? Fixed your bloody radio? I'll smash it. Shall I smash it? Yeah. That's what I should bloody do, I tell you. Or put this truncheon somewhere where the sun don't bloody shine, lad. Good lord, come along, Winston. Let's just get out of here and leave this grumpy old ghoul. Ugh. And next time, I really will put it somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. So watch it, radio boy.